extreme weather over here, I try to predict maybe we going to see a maybe good outbreak because this gonna be intense. This forecast right now is just gonna be a little bit snow, but on the twenty fourth all the way to twenty eighth. See and then the Texas you see in the dark green, that's where we likely see that thunderstorms or what else there. And all some some areas also going to get snow. And we seen that storm system go to the Mississippi, Alabama. That area going to be in the and then another system will pop up. Then you're going to bring more storms on the 28th. Could happen. We don't know. Who knows it's going to happen or not. Chance of good thunderstorms. Or not. Well, we're going to see. Maybe we don't know about the wind shear on that. Well, on like now, show you a little bit good wind shear level up there. Yeah, there's just gonna be not a lot of so wind shear gonna be. The last hour show you gonna be a minimal wind shear on the 24th. Well, We'll maybe keep an eye on it in case we'll see more models will predict the long forecast for this storm system. For now, it's just going to be a little bit quiet until on the 24th, until all the way to 25th. But on the Cape value on that day on a May tomorrow show you a lot of visibility on the the twenty fourth lot all the way maybe to four hundred and two hundred and sixty Cape value because this system will more Cape on the 24th and then uh, we'll stop at the 25th, slow down, and then we'll back up until the 28th. That's the main thing. We need to keep on these models predicting what's going on on that. Well, we'll keep on that day. Hopefully nothing's going to happen. Hopefully this wind chill level gonna be gonna be weird on the twenty fourth. Well on the twenty sixth gonna be more above average temperature see this big drought up there see more activity in the, the plants area then go be gone we need to just check in in case not going happen but we need to just in case it will happen well the satellite show you right now is just lots of clouds some areas of snow but earlier this morning there was lots of snow on but on it turned back to rain i will show you in a little bit well it's the system about to be gone to show you how much snow it was 
there was a lot of snow in the, uh, back up there. Now it's just quiet. Oh, but there is a, actually a snow. I never realized there's any snow, but there is still going to be a, a lot of snow system during this April month. Well, this is going to be rare of fair because Ultra Blast. Because that Ultra Blast brings a lot of below average temperatures. All that. The, this temperature difference on the Fahrenheit show you a lot ability to see below average temperature on that day on that temperature difference that's a lot cause this temperature difference this auto blast on the 22nd is to the go be very cold year in the northeast below like 13 degrees below average temperature well this is not normal but it's going to be the, this rare system this never will happen but will slow down then probably a little bit little one in, in the Great Lakes region then it's going to be dropped down and back to northeast on the 26th then in the, in the plains is going to be more in the areas that's what's going on in the above average temperature this system well we don't know it's going to be cold it's going to be but our GF's model show you a little bit cooler only like that was on Celsius now looking and the Fahrenheit on the 22nd only 11 degrees below average temperature but that's gonna be gonna be weird this then it's go back and forth cold and warm because on the 28th it's gonna be really warm in the north East, then uh, it's gonna be very cold since then. Uh, this cold air and with the tornado outbreak. Hopefully, this is gonna be a good video.